how are you? This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. And here at this channel, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful, and a prosperous life. Aries, Aries, Aries. Welcome to your February reading uh, for 2019. This is for sun, moon, or rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun, uh, you know, if Aries is your sun sign, doesn't resonate, check out your moon and your rising as I put the other signs up. First time here. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And return viewers, welcome back. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Aries, I have a feeling we're being a little stubborn these days into February. Listen, I know all of us have gone through, we've been through a lot. Like, the ascension and awakening energies um, and the energies requiring us to change, change our thought patterns, review our narrative, review how we've been doing things, all of that. It's been a lot. And this has been going on since, what, September, October of last year. So everyone has been undergoing a lot of change. And usually areas I feel like you guys are really able to, like, work with that change because you do change on a dime and you're able to, like, take action immediately. Um, but also, like, you guys, I love you to pieces. I, I mean, love you, okay? Um, to the moon and back. Um, I have an Aries moon, so I, I can speak a little bit on this. Sometimes, Aries, you can move a little too fast, and sometimes you can get a one-track mind sometimes. And when there's too much change going on, actually, it really stokes your fire, and the fire can kind of burn out of control a little bit. And I think that for the first half of February, you know, there's a lot that's going on that's a lot that you want to accomplish. But I also think that there's, you know, you might need to take a breath and slow down. The overall energies that I'm seeing, you know, the Four of Crystals, we are using the Star Child Tarot deck. You know, Aries, um, you're, you're kind of all alone. You're kind of closing yourself off a little bit. But you're getting stuff done. You need to get it done. You recognize that. and But see, you're also not for the crap. You're not for the ish. You're not having it this month. Um, and you haven't been having it for a little while. And the other thing fire does is it illuminates, right? And I believe, Aries, you've seen some people's motivations, the reasons behind what they've been doing. And they're, you know, you guys are really a giving group. So you've realized that people don't always have your best interest at heart, even though you really wish that they did or you thought that they were going to. And that could be a little difficult. However, you are coming out of this with the sun. Very hopeful. Very like, this is a new day. You recognize a new day is dawning. You recognize that there's new possibilities. You recognize all of this. And you're really looking forward to the future as um, Aries do, as most fire signs do, right? They look forward to the future and see that good. Um, there are some passionate decisions that have to be made. The two of Wands. You will make this decision, these decisions in February, and you're going to forge ahead into some new things. Um, I feel like there's been um, not even just two options, but multiple options in front of you that you're kind of equally passionate about. And uh, because of that, um, you kind of, a decision has created a little bit of indecision. Your focus is going to get narrowed, and you're going to be able to move forward just to remember temperance my dears okay i love this card because look at her her hands they're on fire and not only that she is just like giving of herself she's completely empty looking towards the heavens she's got the energy surrounding her crown like behind her right and she's got those two cups down there and she's like look i can't balance this all on my own i'm giving it up Matter of fact, I'm even putting my hands down. I'm not trying to put my hands anywhere in this. I'm just going to let you guide me and finding that temperance, finding that balance between spirit and logic, finding that balance between passion and planning, okay? Finding that balance there that's going to be critical for you. Let's move into the month. The first week, we have the Seven of Swords for the first week of February. Uh, again, there's more stuff that's being um, enlightened to you. There's more people's motivations that are being shown to you. 
uh, you know, what's done in the dark will come out in the light. And if an, a fire sign's light is burning bright and they on one, honey, uh-uh, I don't want to see it. Yep, secrets are going to be with the moon card. Secrets are going to be, uh, they're coming out. Uh, you already know, been made privy to people's motivations. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that there are some people that have been really not with your best interest at heart and trying to basically steal from you. Now, this could be steal from joy. This could be stealing ideas. This could be anything. But I feel like you're just knowing, you're knowing now that like, man, I thought this was going to be like an ace. I thought this was going to be a, a confidant I could have. And you're quickly finding out that that's not the case. And all those secrets are going to be revealed. And um, so and you have the Akashic Record card. Aries, what I need for you to do this month is go back and review. Go back and review choices, situations that you've made or put yourself in, choices you've made in the past. Akashic Records is truly about past lives. So um, if you have done Akashic Record work before, maybe it's time to revisit some of that information that you've gained. If you've never done Akashic Record work, um, there are some videos on YouTube. I would perhaps Gabriel Inspires would be a good one that I would trust. He's a collaborator, close collaborator of mine, or we collaborate together, I should say. Um, but if otherwise, you know, hit me up because it's not necessarily something you should just kind of go do and charging into, but there's some past karma that is coming actually forward. And I believe that all of these karmic relationships that you've had now are meant to kind of clear some of that up and, uh, to give you an opportunity to really change things up. Okay. And set yourself on a new path. Um, the Ten of Wands comes to the second um, week of the month. I d don't hate the Ten of Wands as a card. Um, I see the Ten of Wands as picking up burdens. I see the Ten of Wands as identifying those burdens, first of all, and putting them on your back so they're not right in your front. Right? The, the traditional card shows them on your back. Yep, and by doing so, we have the Four of Swords to clarify that you're moving into a peace. So you're coming to peace with those decisions that you made before and the repercussions of them now. Coming to peace with, this is some crap that happened previously, went to my Akashic Records, saw what was going on, saw what needed to be cleared, and I'm going to take ownership of all this, put it on my back, and move so it's not in your future right it's in your past and as you move the burdens from and what everyone else has told you like oh you'll never be this or oh you'll never do that or you'll never be successful you're never ever 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 you won't have a good life you won't have this you won't have that and some of the things you've picked up because you know you may have burned a couple of people before Aries, sometimes that fire can burn real hard and heavy. You may have inflicted a few third degree burns on people. And you got to own that and then kind of go back and say, you know what? I own that. I apologize. Please forgive me. But then release it and let it go. Let the guilt go. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing second week potentially. You know, energies are fluid. All right? Um, moving into the third week, three of cups. So time for celebration. So you're putting in the work. Um, during that third week of February, I believe also is when we're going to have another th full moon. Um, February the 19th starts that moon cycle, the full moon cycle. That's going to be another powerful moon cycle that we have. Um, right on that Pisces, right? That full moon into Pisces is going to be a, a time for pulling in life purpose, for pulling in those dreams and bringing them out of dream space and bringing them into reality, bring them into vision and focusing our vision. And that's a time of celebration. It's a time of freedom. It's a time of all things are coming together. 
release these, uh, there's the Ten of Swords. You got to release this guilt. Release it. Release it. Release the feeling of being burdened by it. Release the feeling of being burdened by other people. Release and forgive those people. Remember that first week? Them people that we found out was not being truthful with us. Um, that really didn't have our best interest at heart. You need to release them and forgive them. You know, don't let February go by without forgiving them. Don't let February go by without kicking the dust off your feet. And with the Knight of Swords energy, this is fresh, new thought patterns, ideas, a fresh new paradigm. Look at him. He's sitting there looking into the universe and contemplating. He put his sword down because there's no need to fight this. This is the time of contemplation and reception of what spirit has for you. Okay? Receive it. Because as we're going into the fourth week, we have the awakening card, beloveds. And I love that card. That means, wow, look, new levels. New spiritual levels. Awakening. Okay? Uh, deeper depths in your spiritual awakening process. With the Page of Crystals, look, she's got her crown illuminated, honey. She's got the fairies rolling around. She's got all of this manifestation happening. And it's new. And it's exciting. And it's in a different area. And it's just a new method. Like manifestation coming much easier. Okay? I'm sure most of you notice that manifestation is coming much easier these days. Right? Because of all these clearing out of energies. We also have the Lover's Card. Well, well, and well. Now, there could be a Gemini in the mix. This could be a soulmate coming into the mix. This could also be a spiritual partner, a spiritual mentor, someone who is meant to really speak into your life and be in your life and uphold and support you or be in partnership. So we started out with people that we couldn't trust and we end the month with a new person or people that you can actually trust and that are meant to be in your life and that are there for a purpose and a plan and to uplift you as you go through your continued awakening process. Beautiful, beautiful reading for February. Oh, and look what else we have on the bottom of the deck. Ten of crystals as well, guys. Look for fantastic manifestation and fulfillment of vision and dreams. Aries, that's what I have for you for the month of February. Please leave me some comments. Let me know how this resonated with you. Also, if you wish to work with me, the energy work with the Akashic Records, spiritual coaching through your awakening process, um, or any other type of Reiki attunement or readings, all my information is in the box below. And please consider checking out the spiritual conference link that's down there March 8th through the 10th. Have your face in the place here in Madison, Wisconsin. You will be getting Reiki one attuned. We're going to set you, propel you into your purpose, give you some spiritual gifts or attune those or enhance those, and then also some tools for self-healing and energy healing for others as well and help you set up your business, okay? Packed with great information and getting ready to propel you into your purpose. Registration is open. It is filling up. Get your spot. Have your face in this place. I can't wait to work with you. Until next time, peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.